time for the story time. So if the children would go around and collect those little green flags, um, uh, we can do that. And Mary Jane is going to have story time today. Well, 
Life was tough on the road, but because they had been soldiers for so many years, the ex-soldiers knew how to live a nomadic style of life. And one day, Jack found himself in Connecticut. And he went to the address that was on the envelope that his friend is getting me. And he went to that address and it was a, an old New England home. It was very big and pretty. And he went up to the door, but then he had a thought and he looked down and he saw that his clothes were dirty and they were torn and his hands were dirty and he hesitated. But then he went ahead and he bravely marched up to the door and he knocked on it. Well, when the door was opened, a nice elderly gentleman came to the door with his wife. And when the man saw the boy, the first thing he said, I am sorry, son, but times are tough and there's not enough to feed and clothe every hoboy that comes to our house. Well, Jack was rejected. He felt very bad, and, and he started to turn around and go. But then, he remembered the letter, and he said, I have a letter from your son. Well, the, the woman said, you knew our son? And he said, yes, my name is Jack. I was his best friend. And with that, he took the letter that he'd been carrying for years out and handed it to the couple. Well, they read the last letter of their beloved son. And they cried. And when they were done, they got their composure back together and they said, they took Jack and they pulled him into the house. And they said, all that my son had is yours now. So what do you think made the difference? Do you know what made the difference? He said, their son's beloved, their beloved son's name that made the difference. And you know what that makes me think of? Another beloved son. John 14, 6 tells us that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. John 16, 15 says, All things that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said, that he will take of mine and declare it yours. So, it doesn't matter how dirty or poor or wretched we are. Jesus promised that we come to the Father in his name. We will have the same reception. And we will be adopted as sons and daughters. Let's pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your beloved Son from heaven to the sinful world to live as we are in a human body that he might save us from the sin. That we might, through him, overcome sin and temptation as he did. May the Holy Spirit guide us and keep us so that we can be the person that you want us to be. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.